Hello, and welcome to another Hexton tutorial. Today we are going to be looking at the Bulk Product Edit app, also known as BPE for short. But specifically, we're going to be jumping into the description function. This can be found on the left side navigation bar or on the home page right here. Let's jump in. Now, before we start editing, we need to determine which part of the description we want to edit. So let's go to my test store, and here we have a collection of shirts. Let's go into a shirt and we can see the description is this shirt has a crazy message on it and delivery time two to four weeks. So this is the important part that we want to edit. And all of the shirts have the same delivery time. Let's go into the third one. So we want to bulk edit this text here in all of the shirts. So let's jump over into the BPE application. Let's see, collection is shirts, and then let's preview match products. So as you can see, we have all three of the shirts here in my shirts collection, and we also have all of the same text in all of the shirts. So let's just copy this text here, and this is the part that we're gonna change. So now let's pick a function to edit our description. There's a bunch of options, but I'm gonna choose find and replace text in description. So now let's paste in the text that we want to replace. This is the delivery time two to four weeks. And we want to replace this with delivery time one to two weeks. Now let's go ahead and start the edit. As you can see, it's queued. And this will bring us to our tasks page. Now we just need to wait for the queued task to finish. Now we can see the task is finished and it edited three products. And we only had three products, so that was a success. Uh, it edited the products in collection shirts, and it replaced time two to four weeks to delivery time one to two weeks. So let's check out the details. In the details, we can see the old description of all the products, and we can see the new description. So now if we jump over to my store, maybe we click on this shirt, we can see the delivery time has changed to one to two weeks. And this is the same for all of the shirts. Now we're going to be moving on to part two of the video where we're going to be editing the HTML tags with the text themselves. So you can edit more than just the text. So I've gone in and I've edited the description of these shirts. Now the delivery time has two lines and it's red. This means that in order to edit these lines, we're going to have to include the HTML text, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Let's jump over to the bulk product edit app. So here we have collection is, and of course we're in the description function, collection is shirts, and let's preview. Now first I want to show you a common mistake that's made. Let's go over to the description, and let's copy this part of the description, because we want to replace it. Let's go back to bulk product edit, choose the same find and replace text and description function, and let's replace this with something else. Maybe we just want to get rid of the first or second line. Now, as you can see, this function is going to replace this text with this text, except this text doesn't exist in the description. As you can see, there's all these HTML tags that are involved, and so we need to include them. We're going to copy this part of the description, including all the HTML tags, because we want to replace it. Paste it here. And then we're going to change it. We, let's say we want to get rid of the second line, but we also want to change the color to blue. Let's see what happens. Let's start the bulk edit. Task is queued. And let's just wait for it to finish. Great, now the task is done and we've edited three products. We edited shirts and we did the replace that you saw previously. Let's go into the details. As you can see, the old description was much longer because we had two sentences instead of one. And in the new data, we changed the color to blue. So let's go see what our new description looks like on our store. This is our old one, let's refresh the page. We got rid of the second line and we changed it to blue. That's exactly what we wanted to do. 
And as we can see, we can go back to the other page. Let's click on crazy shirt. And the same edit happened. To funny shirt, and the same edit. Well, thank you very much for watching, and please let us know if you have any questions.